Hi everybody, it's Greg Phelps. I'm back again with another uh, Hasselblad uh, video. I noticed that uh, we're getting a lot of hits on the first uh, couple of videos that we put up, and that's pretty cool. A lot of people ask some questions. Uh, the first thing I want to say is I'm not like a big techie guy, so some of these questions that you're asking, um, I'm not even going to try to answer them because, I mean, I'm a photographer, a working photographer. That's how I earn my living. And uh, I buy the best equipment that I can afford to use for my clients and to make the best images with and hopefully to work uh, easily for me. And that's what I go on. So some of the questions that you ask, uh, I'm not going to get to. But one of the questions that came up with a, was an issue of using uh, iPhone with tethered computers and so forth. And uh, my iPhone is getting kind of low on battery, so I hope it's going to work. But I'm just going to mention real briefly that when you have the camera tethered to the uh, computer, then you can activate it through uh, Bluetooth or wirelessly, I guess it is, uh, with your iPhone. So we're going to do that. And we have this little uh, scene set up here with the uh, Nikon uh, box and the uh, thing and the lens. Uh, which I'm getting ready to sell, by the way. On uh, <laughs> so anybody who wants a 14 to uh, 24 millimeter uh, f2.8 lens, let me know. But anyway, uh, let's uh, get this thing going. And once that is set up and ready to go, then all you have to do, and, and I don't know if you can see the screen on this or not, but uh, you have to get the uh, the programming and the setup done. And then you can just uh, hit the button and you heard the camera go off and you should see the image pop up here in a second. And uh, there it is. And you can see part of me behind the image. So I'm going to step off to the side here so I'm not in the next image. And we'll do it again. And we can do it. Now from the camera you can also change uh, you know, ISOs and uh, shutter speeds and different uh, things like that. I mean from, your, from the iPhone if you want to. So it's kind of cool. I, I don't personally in professional use find much use for it, but I, I suppose there could be certain circumstances uh, if uh, you need to have a way to uh, uh, control your camera from a long distance away. Uh, I guess uh, that could be helpful. But uh, anyway, another one of the questions that uh, we had was uh, about the uh, cost of the camera. <laughs> wasn't really a question as so many people were gasping at how much these things cost and yeah they do cost an awful lot of money and that brings up the question of whether we are professional photographers or whether we're glorified hobbyists and um, just owning an expensive camera doesn't make you a uh, professional photographer but what it does mean is is that you need to have a good business model that you're following and you need to be treating this like a profession if you want to own equipment that is uh, top priority equipment or top notch equipment like this. So that's one thing you need to think about. It's, you know, photography is a business. Uh, and if you want it to be a hobby, that's great. There's certainly nothing wrong with that. Uh, there, a lot of people find uh, beautiful ways to uh, express themselves through photography just for fun. But if you're making a living from photography, well, that's a whole other ball game. And in fact, we're working on a website right now. Uh, it's called Business for Photographers. We hope to have it up and running uh, by no later than the middle of next month that uh, we'll encourage people to look for on the uh, internet to sign up for. It's not going to be a free website. Uh, uh, you will have to pay to get access to the real meat of it, but it is going to be a heavy duty business website helping photographers learn how to price their work, how to sell their work, how to deal with clients, uh, how to ask the right questions so that you can provide the right kind of pictures that clients want. Everything that has to do with uh, with what clients are uh, are needing and what we need to have in order to run a business. 